Good morning everybody, happy Thursday. It's our last day in Italy, or our last full day in Italy. We're up with the birds. My alarm went off at half past six, and I got out of bed at about five to seven. Had to get everyone through the shower, everybody ready, and out the door, because we are going into Venice today. So, where we're on holiday to is the Adriatic coast, but we need to go back on ourselves where we came from the airport, past the airport, out the other side, um, and down into actual Venice. We're just waiting for Kev. I think he's just gone over there into the shop to get something for this two's breakfast because there was nothing left in our cabin. You lot have eaten it all, that's why. Everyone's eating everything. Um, Reese and all the teenagers. Sienna's in a bad mood. Reese and all the teenagers have already eaten, but we do need to feed these younger ones. But we also need to get on the coach. So yeah, I'm gonna try and vlog on the camera today, but this is about the fourth time of starting the vlog because it keeps going blurry. And I don't know whether it's because the camera's been in the cabin where it's been cold because of the air con, and then we've come out and it's really warm and it keeps fogging it up. So I'm gonna attempt to, um, to vlog on the camera today. make it onto the bus because we didn't realise that we had to buy our tickets for the bus at the entrance to our holiday village. I thought like the UK we could just buy our ticket when you got on the bus. So we went to go on the bus and you have to walk out of the holiday village about, well, I don't know, 200, 300 metres up the road to the bus stop. And we went to go on the bus and he was like, have you got your ticket? And we were like, we were going to buy it now. And he was like, oh no, you need to buy it from the machine. And I was like, oh no. Don't tell us we're going to have to go all the way back down to the holiday village and buy the ticket and then wait for the next bus, which is then a longer journey. So this one is an hour and 44 minutes, but the one after this one was two hours and 15 minutes. So thankfully he's let us get on. He's told us that he'll like, give us a wave when we stop at another stop with a machine and Kev can jump off and buy the tickets. So thankfully he has let us on. in Venice, not a gondola, a lizard. <laughs> so the bus ride was supposed to take one hour 44 minutes, ended up taking two hours and five minutes ish and all the kids need the toilet so we found the public toilets after we looked for, well there was a cafe when we got off the bus but they were very strict like if you're not eating in here two euros each to use the toilet. So we came out, we spoke to a police officer. He pointed us in the direction of the public toilets. One euro 50 for a week. <laughs> One euro 50. So all the teenagers were desperate, so they've happily paid it. Me and Kev were like, nah, I can hold it. I can wait for a little bit. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, seven euro 50 will cost for us five to go for a wee. Seven euro 50 to have a blooming wee. Yes, darling. Yeah, that one's pretty. They're just looking at magnets at the moment, aren't you? Do you like something? Oh, on our way back, when we get the bus back, we're going to come and get some magnets. We've only just got here, haven't we? We've only just got here, so we're going to get some magnets on our way back to the... when we get back on the bus. I have been uh, studied, but I have forgotten. But I forget almost everything. And also, I am learning the school of fact.
It might not be beautiful blue skies and roaring sunshine today, but let me tell you, oh my goodness, Lissy, how hot is it? So. It is so muggy, like we're all sweating because I've got sunburn all down my tummy. It's like I've got a heater underneath my top and I stupidly wore a black t-shirt, but I wanted to be covered up because I thought I can't be getting any more sunburn. But let me tell you, how hot is it, Bella? <laughs> it's like mega sweaty. Are you right, Lucy Anna? I'm not alright. You're not alright? Felicity's not alright. Why are you being an idiot? Huh? Riley's being an idiot. Daddy's getting a coffee, isn't he? Because because Riley's being an idiot, Kev needs his morning coffee that he's not had yet. More than ever. So they're just in this little coffee shop. And to be honest, coming up this um, passageway is quite a nice breeze. So I'm happy to stand here for a little bit. I've been informed by far that we're actually doing McDonald's for lunch. I can't wait to order everything I've never <laughs> tried. Yeah, we've been looking for McDonald's. We've come to Venice and we're like, what do you want to eat? And Sienna's like, McDonald's. <laughs> I know the humidity we all got up this morning to like straighten our hair and like get ready and then look at this it's just frizz yeah I did put makeup on and I regret it because I feel like super greasy little sweaty face let me get a picture of you two for your mum Square. That was a much longer walk than I'd anticipated. It's so warm, but when you're in like the little streets, the little alleys and stuff, it's nice and cool. But when you come out here into this square, it's absolutely heaving. Just look how busy it is, and it is so so hot. I'm you like love the boiling. Are yeah, it's lovely in the little side streets. It's nice and shaded. I'm not actually sure whether we're going to go in here or not. I know Kev wants to. I might just say to him go in on his own. Felicity's done amazing. My phone has just beat me to tell me I've done 6,000 steps today. So Felicity managing 6,000 steps with her bad leg is incredible. I did just carry her for the, like the last five minutes. And oh, there's someone, what are they clapping for? There's people clapping, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's a little bit warm. But it's nice, I mean it's really pretty, it is really pretty. When we first got here, the first few streets we came through after we got off the bus were really like graffiti, wasn't there? There was graffiti everywhere. But as we've come further into Venice, it is really pretty. At first we were a bit like, oh my goodness, is it really all being ruined by like vandals? But actually when you get into the main part, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> Choose a fan then. Yeah. You like that one? Yeah, Sienna, do you want a Venice one? 
Sienna, do you want one that's got Venice on it? So you can see that you've been to Venice. Look at the Venice ones. This one looks pretty. Could you choose one then? That one, open up, let's see. Oh, let's have a look. The other side. Oh, that is very pretty. Is that the one you want? You don't know, choose one then quickly. Uh, yeah. This two. one and this one too. Oh no, two, no. Are you getting one, Riley? No? That's the one your sister's got. You want to get that pink one? A bit lighter. Otherwise you're... This one if you want. Otherwise you're going to argue. We'll see that one's pretty. That one? Yeah. Like this one. Perfect. Say so thank you. you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Have a good day. Thank you. Better? Oh, that's lovely. Bella, do you like mine? But Bella will show you how to do it. Yeah, they're nice. I like those. I really like the hoodies, the Venice hoodies. Ended up in what I can only describe as all of the shops that make the teenagers go giddy, but none of us can afford. <laughs> We've got Louis Vuitton, we've passed Tiffany, we've passed um, Dior, and then we've got Balenciaga. Oh yeah, Jimmy Choo we've passed. This is like all of the designer shops of Venice. It does smell. This is the only street we've walked down that smells really nice. <laughs> it smells beautiful down here. Oh, Cartier. I mean, I'm so not posh, I don't even know how to pronounce half of these shop names. I don't even know what that is, Bella. Mimu? No idea. Prada. Prada, I can pronounce that one. That's because Brooke is like, oh, designer shops. I like designer shops. But I think we've got to go over that little bridge there. Oh, those gondolas. We need to stop at this pharmacy for Bella. Okay. Bella's got a blister in Venice, so we need to go to the pharmacy. Oh, Brooke, Summer and Brooke want to buy one of these t-shirts with Italy on it, or Venice on it. Um, Brooke's got one with the Canada Oh, Brooke's got the Canada one, yeah. Montclair? Oh, Chanel. Just popped a channel. <laughs> Gucci! Oh my goodness. So this is where we're going to come if we win the lottery, yeah? Is that helping, Sienna? Is that helping? Beautiful. Dolce & Gabbana. Yeah, all of these um, designer shops and we need the Famicia. <laughs> the Famicia. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, dad getting on. <laughs> oh, it's your dad getting on me to rock like that. <laughs> <laughs> when there's ten of you, so you almost get a private gondola ride for two euros each. <laughs> Minnie's head would love this, you're right. Big <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! 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 Oh Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Brooke, happy birthday to you. 
This has possibly been the most stressful day of my entire existence. Anyone who does travel vlogging with children in tow and makes it look idyllic and easy, then flipping hats off to you, you've got the most amazing life, or you're editing loads out, because telling you now, this has been such a stressful few hours of my life. Everyone wants to ride a gondola. Obviously, you're in Venice, you want to ride a gondola. But to ride a gondola in Venice is about 80 euros per person. So, on the way here, on the coach, I was watching TikToks of Venice. And there was a TikTok saying how to ride a gondola in Venice for only two euros each. So, it basically just goes across the Grand Canal. Just one little ride across the Grand Canal. So, I put it in my sat-nav. There is another TikTok that says... Don't use your Google Maps in Venice, it will just get you lost. Well, that is not a lie, but <laughs> how else do you find your way around? So we kept getting lost, everyone was getting moody with me, because it's all my fault, always, it's always, always my fault. And everyone's hungry, everyone's hot, everyone's sweaty. Obviously, oh, Felicity, this has got a fan. Felicity's done way more walking than what she's comfortable with, but... We did get there in the end. Do you want to hold them for me? Thank you. We did get there in the end and we did sing happy birthday to Brooke, as you just seen, going across on the gondola. It's actually Brooke's birthday tomorrow. They were supposed to go home today, but they stayed an extra day. Oh, and also we lost them. We also lost them at one point because we carried on walking. They stopped to take a picture and then when they looked up, we were gone. So then we had to try and find Brooke, um, there's some drinks in Daddy's bag. Brooke, Jamie and Summer went missing. Yeah. And yeah, it's just been <laughs> quite a stressful day, but we did sing happy birthday on a gondola. We might have been on and off of that gondola in like, there's drinks in Daddy's bag. We were on and off that gondola in about three minutes, but nonetheless, they can go home and say they've rode a gondola in Venice. I give it to these teenagers though, they found a fountain to splash your face in. I don't know if it's actually for splashing your face in. Might be someone's waste pipe. But <laughs> imagine if that's not actually for washing your face in and it's like coming from the hotel behind it. It's so it's... Nice. Oh, is it? Oh, splash your faces then. I'm all for a bit of splashing my face. Oh, is that good, Liz? Can you get my back? I'm not risking. Allora. Yeah. Okay, it'll go down. So we finally sat down after walking 13,000 steps. Um, Sienna's just been and chose a magnet for Nanny for looking after Charlie. And we've just been using these like vendors at the bus station to get lunch because it's just trying to find somewhere to eat. It's just, you just, it's so stressful. I can't even tell you. So Jamie and Brooke are over there. We're over here. We've got chicken burgers. Kev's got a sandwich. Sienna's got a hamburger. Bella's got a pizza, burger. What have you got, Reese? He's got a pizza as well. Um, so yeah, we just bought some lunch at the bus station so we know we're in the right place to get on our bus in 20 minutes. That was the most like, And craziest. we can eat before we get on the bus. So we got back from Venice just in time for the older boys to go up to the sports club and watch the football and I'm currently sat on the beach oh my goodness pretending I didn't see Riley just jump off of the rocks into the sea he's currently out in the sea with Brooke they've been up on the rocks looking for crabs Bella and Summer and Felicity didn't like the crabs so they've gone the other side of like the it's like a, a row of rocks that goes out and on one side there's loads of crabs so they've gone on the other side. Summer and Felicity are in the water. Bella's currently walking towards me. Sienna is burying herself in sand and we were hoping to go in the pool. So on that announcement, I think it was probably in yesterday's vlog, I can't remember how many days ago it was, it said that there was late night opening for the splash park. Now, didn't realize it's literally just the slides, which is a bit of a pain because Sienna isn't tall enough for the slides. And it doesn't start until half past eight and it's currently about quarter past seven. So we came up here to the beach bar in the hope we could get some takeaway pizzas and chips and just sit on the beach. Went into order, they stopped serving at six. One of the things I'll say about this place is things shut really early. Like that shuts for food at six, the shop shuts on site at eight, but the entertainment like doesn't start till nine. So it's all a little bit arse about face to be honest. So Kev is currently still at the sports bar, so he's 
I've texted him, he's gonna order some takeaway pizzas from there. However, the pizzas from here are six euros 90, and they're really, really nice. The ones from the sports bar, I mean, they're not terrible. They're not like horrible or anything, but they're about 10 euros for just a plain margarita. And they weren't, they weren't as nice as the ones from here. But anyway, it's the only place available to get some like takeaway food right now. So he's gonna order some pizzas and he's gonna come up here and meet us so that we can eat. And then I think the older ones are all gonna go on the splash park on the slides. Um, not you, no, I just said you're not big enough. You're not tall enough. And Sienna's like, I quite like it on the beach at night time, mummy. Can we just sit here? And I'm like, yep, that is fine. Um, because it hasn't been overly hot today. It's been really hazy. So it's quite, it's quite nice sat here right now. I mean, it's still about 26 degrees, but it's not like burning hot sunshine. So it's, it's bearable. What have you got? A crab. A crab? A pinchy crab? Not two, but the other one jumped out. Oh, they can jump these crabs. Don't yeah, bring they're jumping oh, crabs. Don't bring it too close to me if they can jump. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, a lizard and a crab all in one day. A lizard? Yeah, did you not see the lizard in Venice? No. Oh, I got it on the camera. Probably one Oh, cute little crabby. I don't know. Hold it. <laughs> see, Hold like, it. Don't, oh, don't drop it though, because it's a long way for it to get back to the sea. Maybe hold it a little bit further away from me. I'm not a big fan. Oh, you got it. Oh, it's so cute. No, I'm scared. You keep it, Riley. Oh, take him back to the sea. What? Oh no. Kev has arrived with the goods. Surprise. Chicken nuggies. With some, some lettuce. Earlier on, we bought Sienna one of those chicken burgers, and um, all she had was a flipping lettuce. She loves lettuce. I was like, I should have just bought a whole plate of lettuce. I love that chip, sir. Yeah, they salt them for Sienna. you. I knew they do that. I'm going to miss the most. There's no vinegar, though. I don't think they do vinegar, really. Oh, they do do sachets of ketchup at that yeah, place, after all. British. All the British, sir. <laughs> Oh, they look better than the ones we had when we paid to sit in. Mm, they do. Are they not cut at all? No. Oh, great. <laughs> well, you have to rip them. You have to rip them. Um, in this restaurant behind us, they cut them into four, which is always fun when there's ten of you. And we buy two and there's eight. <laughs> what was that, Sienna? <laughs> Chicky nuggies. Chicky nuggies. But um, apparently at the sports bar, they didn't cut them at all. <laughs> Here goes Reese with his bay watch. <laughs> Hey, Reese, are you going to swim out to the swan? He'll get attacked. He'll get <laughs> Searching his button. It's got to be lost, surely. What's the man doing to it? I don't know. Is it going to come up onto land? Oh, go on, Reese. Uh, sorry. I don't know. Fire on the <laughs> my mum and dad. We should go on that one in a second. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! These girls have just had their last two hours in the swimming pool and now we're making the trek back up to the entrance to pick up our suitcases. Hey? And no, it didn't feel like you had long enough, did it, in the pool? But we're going up to get the suitcases and then we've got to get the bus at half past 12. We'll get to the airport for about half past two and then we've got a flight at six o'clock. Yeah, we'll get some lunch. And then I'll yeah, 6 p.m. We land back in England at 7 p.m. So we should be home by about... No, 7 p.m. at night. We should be home and in bed by about half past nine. We're all suitably burnt and mosquito bitten to death. And, and most importantly, it's Brooke's birthday! Woo-hoo! 
She celebrated her birthday with a morning swim in the sea. <laughs> oh, you can see that morning swim. Him and his, him and his shameless plugs for their channel. No, we haven't got six hours in the airport. We've got three. And it says online you need to arrive at this airport three hours early. So that's what they say, three hours. I did look earlier on. I thought if we've got a two-hour coach ride plus three hours in the airport plus two hours in the sky plus an hour home. Oh, no, you've dropped a lip gloss. That's like eight hours. So I thought, I wonder how long it would take to drive here. Yeah. 21 hours. Oh, you can actually drive No, darling, we've got to go home. Oh, you want us to hire one of those to drive, cycle you up to the bus stop? Yeah? I've got to say, though, this girl has been absolutely incredible this holiday, haven't you? You've done so, so well. When everyone else is complaining about really silly things like they're hungry and they're tired, Felicity hasn't complained once. And yesterday she walked 13,000 steps around Venice. And you're tired now, aren't you? You're ready to get on the coach, get on the plane, and then have a nice big sleep in your bed. Carried. You want to get carried? Yes, Sienna. Oh, wait, we'll get you some more peach rings, don't worry. You can't have a giant lollipop. I can't no, get it on the aeroplane. No, you're not eating a giant lollipop on the coach and then me having to spend three hours with you in the airport and then two hours in the sky. I think if that happens, I'll be busting out the window and jumping out the aeroplane. <laughs> but you can have some more peach rings. Because she had a packet of peach rings and then all the big kids came over and ate them. Oh, I know. You had apple rings, didn't you? I think they thought that they were... I don't think they realised that they were your aeroplane suites. I think they thought they were just there for anybody. Didn't they? Yeah. Airport dad's been reactivated. The bag's got suddenly more full. This is Reese's thingamabob. What's it called? Carry on. Yes! 